On the voyage to Old Town, Gilly tells a seasick Sam that she'll be happy to see the city, having learned much about it from the ship's captain. Instead, Sam doesn't want Gilly and little Sam to be alone in the city while he trains as a maester and plans to take them to his family at Horn Hill, as the Citadel also doesn't allow women and there won't be anyone there to make an exception. Gilly protests against this, but Sam assures her that it is for her protection. After landing in Old Town, Samwell, Gilly, and little Sam are transported to Horn Hill by station coach. Knowing his father's hatred for wildlings, Sam tells Gilly that he had told his father's retainers that Gilly is a northern woman he had bedded in Mole's town and that little Sam is their son. Upon arriving at Horn Hill, Sam is greeted by his mother Melissa and sister Tala Tarly, who are delighted to see Sam and his family. Sam quickly learns that his father Randall and brother Dickon Tarly are out hunting. Tala dresses Gilly in an ornate dress in traditional Reachman fashion, astounding Sam with her beauty. Later that evening, Sam and Gilly join the other Tarleys for dinner. Sam reveals his plans to train as a maester at the Citadel and promises that he will return to the Wall as soon as he has finished his studies. When Dickon asks him about hunting beyond the Wall, Sam responds that he hunts rabbits. An openly scornful Randall then interjects that John did all the hunting for him. He also criticizes his son's size, even though Sam is markedly slimmer than he was when he first arrived at Castle Black, and hunting and fighting abilities. Randall also adds that he will not let his son inherit the family's Valyrian steel sword Heartsbane and House Tarly. Gilly then springs to her lover's defense by pointing out that Sam had killed a then and a White Walker. While Dickon dismisses the White Walkers as a fairy tale, Randall quickly realizes that Gilly is a wildling. He disparages Sam for allowing himself to be seduced by a wildling whore. In response, Melissa chides her husband for his dishonorable conduct and motions for Gilly to leave the dining room with her and Tala. After the women have left, Randall tells Sam that Gilly and little Sam are welcome to stay. He will find work for Gilly as a servant and promises to raise the bastard little Sam as his grandson. However, he warns Sam that he is no longer welcome at Horn Hill and must leave at first light. Later, Sam apologizes for his father's actions but Gilly tells him that he does not need to. Unwilling to be separated from his family, Sam tells Gilly to pack up and leave together with little Sam. Before leaving with his family, Samwell steals Heartsbane. After arriving in Aldtown, Sam and Gilly meet a Citadel maester. Sam gives him a letter from John about Sam becoming a maester for the Night's Watch, but the maester is skeptical about John's state, saying that no word was given about Lord Commander Mormont's death from Maester Eamon. The maester states that Sam's situation is irregular, to which Sam responds, life is irregular. The maester then says that Sam must speak to the archmaester in order to discuss these issues. The maester then allows Sam to use the library, but blocks Gilly and little Sam from entering. In the library, Sam looks on in wonder and awe at the vast size of the library and the knowledge stored in its texts. 